Hello and welcome to Learn to Drive the Easy Way. I'm approved driving instructor Michael Gambin and I'm going to show you how to drive manual, automatic and cars fitted with disability controls in the easiest way possible. So sit back, relax and enjoy. And remember to hit the subscribe button underneath to see all of our videos. So what we're going to talk about now is turning right out of an road or an emerge. Now it's still the MSPSL routine, so mirrors, signal, position, speed and look. So we'll check our rear view mirror and now the right mirror. Remember the reason for that is if someone is close behind or someone's going to go past you on the right hand side you would then do your signal earlier than normal. Remember, the normal distance for an indicator is the speed limit of the road converted into metres. Once we've done our signal, the next thing that we do is our position. Now this is slightly different to a left turn. With a right turn, you want to be right next to the central white line on the approach to the end of the road. Those white lines are what we call hazard warning lines. They're telling you that there is a hazard approaching. It could be a give way, it could be a bend, it could be a hidden side road, it could be the brow of a hill. But those white lines we use as also our lane position uh, divider. So you can use that as your guide. So position right next to that. But if you're coming out of a road and it's a one way street, and we can tell that because you'll have a road sign on the side of the road on the approach like in this picture here so a blue rectangular sign with an up white arrow so if you're coming out of a one-way street you want to be on the right hand side of the road because people can't turn into that road and if you do stay to the left on your test you would fail for that because your position effectively is in the left turn only lane so make sure you're aware of what type of road that you're on for the junctions that we're going to see here, it's a two-way street, so we'd always be slightly to the left of the white line. Once we've done our position, we do our speed, so we slow the car down as per usual, so applying that brake pressure nice and early, nice slow approach, so by the time you get to that giveaway line, you're pretty much doing a crawling pace. Whilst doing your look, looking right and left repeatedly, if it's safe, you can then proceed. If it's not safe, stop and wait until it is. And remember, if you're coming out of the road and it's a stop line, you must come to a complete and utter stop, okay? Now, when you're turning right out of a road, what you want to do is go straight first and then steer when the front of your car is in line with the middle of the road that you're turning into. So by doing that, you're entering the left-hand side of that road without cutting the corner. If there are part cars opposite and the road is narrow, then you can turn a bit earlier, but try to regain the left-hand side of the road as soon as you possibly can. So what I'm going to show you now is how to do those turns. So on the approach, I'm checking my mirrors, rear view, then the right mirror, right signal, and braking nice and early. Position next to this white line, so I'm not touching it, but I'm very close to it. I'm looking right and left repeatedly. My visibility is not fantastic on the left, so I'm just gonna keep creeping forward. I'm now halfway out, so I'm now gonna start my turn. It is now safe, so I'll now apply a little bit of throttle as I straighten up the steering. So again, coming up to the end of this road, so mirror, mirror, right signal and brake keeping it next to the white line, looking right and left repeatedly. It does seem to be safe, so I'm gonna go forward, start my turn, little bit of throttle, start to straighten up and cancel my indicator. So we've got one more emerge here. This tends to be a busier road. So mirror, mirror. I'm already off the throttle signal goes on and braking slowing the car down keeping it next to the white line looking repeatedly it is safe so forward first then start my turn 
straightening back up again. So, I hope that video has helped you understand what is required for an end of road right turn. And I look forward to seeing you on the next video. And the next video will normally be for a turning left into a road.